Have you ever wondered which is more accessible, the stock market or cryptocurrency? Today, we're diving headfirst into this intriguing question. In this video, we're going to break it down comparing the accessibility of these two financial giants, the stock market and cryptocurrency. We'll be taking a closer look at what each of them entails, their unique features, and the ease of access for the average person. But remember, we're not financial advisors. This is for informational purposes, and as with any investment, you should always do your own research before making any decisions. So, whether you're already dabbling in these markets or just curious about how they work, this video is for you. We'll cut through the jargon, debunk some myths, and hopefully by the end, you'll have a clearer picture of these two financial landscapes. Stay tuned if you want to find out which is more accessible, the stock market or cryptocurrency. First, we'll talk about the stock market, a place where people buy and sell shares of publicly traded companies. Picture the stock market as a bustling marketplace, but instead of fruits, vegetables, or handmade crafts, this marketplace deals in stocks, pieces of ownership in a company. It's a place where companies raise funds to grow and where investors, big and small, aim to grow their wealth by buying these stocks and selling them at a profit. But how does it work? Well, imagine you're buying a slice of your favorite pizza. The pizzeria, in this case, is a publicly traded company. When you buy a slice or a share, you're essentially buying a piece of that company. Now the price of that slice isn't static. It fluctuates based on the demand and supply, the company's performance, and the overall economic environment, among other factors. Accessing the stock market, traditionally, was a bit of a challenge. It used to require a considerable amount of capital and a broker to act as your middleman. However, times have changed. Today, with the advent of online trading platforms, you can trade stocks with just a few clicks or taps from the comfort of your home or on the go. These platforms have made the stock market more accessible to the average person by lowering minimum investment amounts and reducing or even eliminating trading fees. But while the barriers to entry have come down, trading on the stock market isn't exactly a walk in the park. It requires knowledge, research, and a certain level of financial literacy. You need to understand company financials, market trends, and economic indicators. And, of course, there's the inherent risk involved. The value of stocks can go down as well as up. So that's a brief overview of the stock market. But what about cryptocurrency? Now let's delve into the world of cryptocurrency, a digital or virtual form of currency that uses cryptography for security. Cryptocurrency in essence is a decentralized digital money system designed to provide users with a secure, anonymous, and efficient way to transact over the internet. Unlike traditional currencies such as the dollar and the euro, cryptocurrencies aren't issued or regulated by any government or central authority. Instead, they are created through a process known as mining, where powerful computers perform complex calculations to validate and record transactions on a public ledger known as a blockchain. One of the main purposes of cryptocurrency is to provide financial power back to the people. It takes the control away from centralized banks and governments and gives it back to the individual. It's a revolutionary concept that has the potential to change the way we handle money in the digital age. Cryptocurrency can be accessed through digital wallets which can be set up online. These wallets allow users to send, receive and store their cryptocurrency securely. Trading in cryptocurrency on the other hand is done through exchanges. These platforms act as marketplaces where users can buy and sell cryptocurrencies using other cryptocurrencies or traditional money. Now you might be wondering about the barriers to entry in the world of cryptocurrency. Well the truth is, getting started with cryptocurrency is relatively easy. All you need is a digital wallet, an internet connection, and some capital to invest. You don't need a broker or a ton of paperwork to get started. However, it's important to note that the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile and can be risky. Therefore, it's crucial to do your homework and understand the risks involved before diving in. The ease of trading in cryptocurrency is another attractive feature. Transactions are often instantaneous and because the market operates 24-7, you can trade at any time of the day or night. Plus, with the advent of smartphone apps, trading can be done at your fingertips literally. That gives us a basic understanding of cryptocurrency, but how do these two compare? Now that we understand what both the stock market and cryptocurrency are, it's time to compare their accessibility. Let's start with the stock market. Traditionally, access to the stock market was a privilege reserved for a select few, often the wealthy or those with a deep understanding of finance. However, with the advent of technology and the rise of online brokerage platforms, the stock market has become more accessible to the average person. 
Today, anyone with a smartphone and an internet connection can start trading stocks. These platforms have made it possible for individuals to buy and sell stocks at their convenience without the need for a human broker. They've also made the process more user-friendly, with intuitive interfaces, educational resources, and even tools to help you analyze trends and make informed decisions. However, the stock market still has its barriers. There's a lot to learn for newcomers, and even with all the resources available, it can be overwhelming. Plus, stock markets operate on a schedule, typically from Monday to Friday during business hours. This means you can't execute trades at any time you wish. Now let's shift our focus to cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency on the other hand, operates on a completely different model. It's decentralized, meaning it's not governed by any central authority like a government or a financial institution. This allows for a more open and inclusive system, where anyone, anywhere in the world can participate. The entry barrier for cryptocurrency is relatively low. You don't need a lot of money to get started, and there are countless platforms available that make buying, selling and trading cryptocurrencies a breeze. These platforms often provide resources and tools to help newcomers navigate the crypto space. One significant advantage of cryptocurrency is that it operates round the clock, seven days a week. Unlike the stock market, you can execute trades at any time, providing more flexibility. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with cryptocurrency. Its decentralized nature can be a double-edged sword. With no central authority to regulate transactions, the crypto market can be more volatile and risky. It's also worth noting that while there are user-friendly platforms available, the concept of cryptocurrency can be complex and intimidating for beginners. In conclusion, both the stock market and cryptocurrency have made significant strides in becoming more accessible to the everyday person. The stock market, with its regulated environment and user-friendly platforms, provides a more structured approach to investing. On the other hand, cryptocurrency, with its round-the-clock operations and low entry barrier, offers a more flexible and inclusive alternative. However, it's essential to remember that both come with their own set of challenges and risks. And while technology has indeed made them more accessible, it's crucial to do your own research and understand what you're getting into before you start investing. As we can see, both the stock market and cryptocurrency have their unique aspects when it comes to accessibility. So, after comparing both, which do you think is more accessible, the stock market or cryptocurrency? Having explored the depths of both domains, it's fair to say that both the stock market and cryptocurrency have their unique accessibility aspects. Let's take a brief walk down memory lane to jog our memories on the key points we've discussed. The stock market, a centuries-old institution, works on a traditional model of buying and selling shares of companies. Its accessibility comes from its regulated nature and the vast wealth of knowledge and historical data available for analysis. It's a game that's been played for a long time, with established rules and players. This makes it easier for the average person to understand, navigate, and potentially prosper. Cryptocurrency, on the other hand, is the new kid on the block. With its decentralized nature, it offers unparalleled accessibility, allowing anyone with an internet connection to participate. It's a 24 7 market with no geographic limitations. Plus, it offers the possibility of massive returns, albeit with a higher risk. In the grand scheme of things, the stock market could be likened to a well-established city with mapped out streets, while cryptocurrency is more like a frontier town, with opportunities and risks lurking at every corner. Remember, it's not a matter of choosing one over the other. In fact, many investors diversify their portfolios with a mix of both. The right choice depends on your risk tolerance, financial goals, and the amount of time you're willing to dedicate to understanding and monitoring your investments. Bear in mind that neither the stock market nor cryptocurrency is a guaranteed path to riches. Both have their fair share of risks and potential rewards. The key is to make informed decisions based on thorough research and understanding. Remember, we are not financial advisors. Always do your own research. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell notification so you'll get updates anytime we upload a new video.